David wrote these words at a time when his son Absalom was trying to take his, his life, David's life. Absalom had decided that he wanted to become king of Israel, that his father shouldn't be king any longer. And so Absalom raises up a rebellion against his father, chases him out of Jerusalem. David leaves the, uh, the, the palace in Jerusalem. He goes through the Kidron Valley out into the wilderness. And I can only imagine that when David goes out into the wilderness, he starts seeing things that are very familiar to him from years past. He starts seeing the sheep along the roadside. He's seeing the Bedouin shepherds taking care of those sheep. And he's reminded about an earlier time in his own life when he was a shepherd boy taking care of his father's sheep. He's reminded about how many, how many days he would spend on the hillsides of Judea taking care of sheep and being a shepherd to sheep. And he, as he's reflecting upon this and all that he's seeing in the wilderness around him, fleeing from his own son, worried about his future, not sure what's going to happen. Very uncertain time for David. He sits down and pens the words that you and I are very familiar with in the 23rd Psalm. Notice verse number four. Even though I walk through the valley, the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. I like the way the ESV translation gives this to us. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. This verse is preceded by, obviously, the familiar verses I know the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. And then he moves to this part. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Here's David now really dealing with his own soul. He's bearing for us the emotions of his life right now. And the key word that he uses there is fear. He's going through a time of great fear. He knows the Lord is a shepherd. He knows that as a shepherd, God takes him to, to, to the pasture land, the, the quiet waters. He restores his soul. He knows that he's the one that's going to guide him. But nevertheless, David is facing what every one of us face at times in life. He's facing the reality of fear. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. He's battling fear in his life. 